Hello everyone, today I'm making um, a soup. I'm using uh, frozen uh, garden peas instead of the dried split peas because I'm gonna, I wanted to go really quickly. I've got four carrots and I'm just going to chop up. I got some two shallots and the onion that's also going to just be chopped up. And I got some fresh um, soup celery from my neighbor opposite, um, Auntie Shamim Dean. And that's from their garden. I have garden peas in our garden. I'll show you later. <laughs> Salt and pepper. And old spice and three um, cloves. Okay. And I also have about two liters of beef stock. And that will give that taste of the soup. Okay, and now I'm going to switch on the uh, stove. Oh, coffee the stove so long. Oh, so I'm going to sculpt. I'm also going to use my stick blender ne, to just finish things off. But before I do the stick blender, I have to take this out. But this has to go in that is going to give it that nice uh, split pea soup flavor. In we go. I'm just going to chop up my onion. If you don't have a stick blender, then do like you normally do with um, when you make soup and you use the grater or your, your blender itself. I'm just going to do this. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to try this out to see because normally when I make soup, it takes about two hours. And I will know for myself, si no, or si no, the frozen peas, but because I know the split peas, the green split peas, it's dried, right? Because to give it a very, very long shelf life. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? I'm going to use the frozen ones makes more sense to me for just to save time and um, this is the first time I'm making it like this so I'm gonna taste it as well and I'll say at the end of the video if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down but uh, I'm looking more towards thumbs up because <laughs> it's all the same ingredients it's just the peas are different okay I want to boil with all the cutting. We do the carrots. Add my stock. This is my four carrots. The same like my split pea soup. Recipe. Okay. I'll let this come to a boil and boil it so for uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'll add my uh, celery, salt and pepper. Let it boil another 10-15 minutes. I'm thinking of half an hour. Then I'm going to remove the cloves and the allspice and then go in with a stick blender. And I'm going to so hard it prune. Okay, be right back. Okay, it's been about 15-20 minutes. I've taken out now these uh, allspice and the nalchis. There's still one looking around. <laughs> I'll find it and I'll add it after I've blended it. I'll add it again when it simmers. So now I'm going to add my my um, um, salary. the stick blender will do the rest of the work if you don't have a stick blender chop it up nah. chop chop I 
was going to go out to show you the garden piece. My son's so cold. But I am going to, I am going to do it. Don't worry, guys. I am going to do it. You guys must know now about my foot. That is a bit of a problem sometimes. So I, I have to come up with ideas where I'm not too much on my feet. And let's for soap. Maar jy lis even toe hier staan, of kom check elke keer nie. O, daar gaan die wasmachine op. So, this will be probably quite thick after I've blended it. And then you can just add water and salt and pepper is to your taste. Do not add a lot of salt at first taste because the beef stock it has salt in as well. Oh, we're going to ignore that naaldje, Kray. My last naaldje. I'll find you. No matter how long it takes, I'll find you. Last of the Mohican. <laughs> Be right back. Sunny's story laying there. He was playing. Sunny, Sunny, say hello to the people. Uh uh, hey, really? Okay, I'll show you the. Die omidrai. Happening here. Look at that. Take this. Some of the for the photo. Get some. I take the photo. Yes. For the aesthetics. I see Bayer Opi. That's not her inner. Mm, let's do this one as well. Look at that. Hmm, I have enough blaren. Yeah, it's okay. So I did find the last Nalchi. It was just floating on top. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch off the heat. It's been about almost 30 minutes. And then I'm going to add my salt, my pepper, and I'm going to just blend it. Mm. So I'll continue doing this and I'll be right back. Okay, look at that. Nice and smooth. I'm going to switch the heat back on. Okay, I'm going to add the whole spices again. Yep. I'm going to taste this to determine how much salt I need. need much salt because I put all the beef stock lots of pepper I've got white pepper and black pepper and I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt okay you vibrant and green look at that there's no stickies salarine Taste again. Hmm. Salt. Mmm, 
bit on the sweet side because it's like we use the frozen um, peas but easily remedied by more black pepper So I'm going to let this simmer a little bit more, five minutes, five to ten minutes, and then we're going to serve it. Delicious. Be right back. And here it is, guys. My pea soup, garden pea soup, vegetable soup. Here we go. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There we go. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. Love you guys.